in this DaVinci Resolve tutorial I will show you how to create a vertical video clip with a duplicate stretched and blurred as a background. I've assumed you have a basic understanding of editing in Resolve. A link to my beginners tutorial is included in the description below for those that don't. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. Okay, well, I've brought this clip into Resolve. I shan't bother playing it because the clip you saw at the beginning is this clip here so all I'm going to do is just come over to edit now make sure that inspector is selected this button up here on the top right this will bring up a couple of options here so I'm going to work with this clip here so select the clip and the first thing you'll need to do is unlink the Zoom X and Zoom Y box, otherwise these will change to match one another. So just left click on the little chain link. And then just place your pointer over Zoom X, hold your left mouse button down and drag your clip to stretch it out so that it fills the screen. Okay. Come up to your media pool and then hold your left mouse button down over the clip and then just drag it into the timeline just above and it should open up another timeline and snap it up to the beginning. You may want to mute one of these as well. Um, I won't go into unlinking it but this is in audio track 2 so I'll just kill that don't see the point in having it playing twice or well, you may want to kill it on track 1 as well but anyway so with this one selected make sure it's the top one on video track 2 go back into inspector and one of the problems is it will for some reason or other, it, this may be a quirk with my PC, you can't see the video behind. What I found is if I go into where it's next to opacity, where it says 100, just type in 99.999 and hit return. For some reason or another, I can see it now, the video clip behind. It's actually reverted back to 100. If anyone else knows a different way, make a note at the bottom of this tutorial. Okay. Now the other option you could do if you wanted to, because this is very narrow, you could also, with the XY zoom linked, you could increase the view if you wanted to, and you could do the same with the bottom one. I'm not going to do that, so I'm going to just revert back to the original setting. Um, finally, select video one in track one. So this is your bottom video. Come up to effects library and you need to open up the or rather open FX. So left click on this and you should have a few blur options. I'm going to select Gaussian blur and drag this over video one and this will blur the background if you want to change the amount of blur just select open FX keep the tick next to the gang if you want and you can change the amount of blur and that's basically all there is to it you could get rid of these edges a bit by zooming in if you wanted to or increasing these sizes here I'm not going to bother with that I think that looks perfectly good enough for a basic um, video uh, tutorial or editing tutorial so I'll just go ahead and render this now and um, what you see at the beginning of this tutorial will be this clip here or is this clip here 
Hopefully that's helped someone. Thank you for watching. Cheers.